So this is a lovely little series that you can do um, to help keep your feet happy. Um, something that you can do at the end of a long day on your feet or just to keep your feet pliable um, and happy as you work with them every day. There's quite literally nothing you do in your day where your feet are invo aren't involved, especially if you're moving um, along the planet. So give yourself time to just be nice to your feet every evening. This is one that you can do while you're watching television at night. Um, no special equipment needed, um, no special time needed either. You can just give yourself um, gentle me time. Be good to me time. So. Starting, let yourself, um, you don't have to be seated on the floor. You can sit in a chair or in your couch or whatever it is that works for you. But you do want to be able to get a hold of one of your feet. Um, I've got my right foot in my hand and I'm just gonna take some time to just gently massage. So it's this kind of a movement where I'm using the, the fingers against the heel of the hand to just kind of, just gently back and forth, just give it a nice little hello massage. Um, depending upon how much time I've got and how long I have to kind of play with it, this might go very quickly. I might just very quickly go through and just kind of wake things up a little bit. Let yourself just gently and easily warm your feet and warm the tissue. Then as you choose, let yourself do some range of motion with the ankle, just softly and gently, just go in one direction and just kind of see how that ankle is, not pushing it into anything, just gently and easily, and let yourself go in the other direction. Nice, soft circles with the ankle. And then go into plantar flexion. With plantar flexion, you're bringing the toes away from your shin. Um, so let yourself just kind of as, as far as you can. I tend to count. Um, I will hold this for maybe a 15, 20, or 30 count, depending upon how much time I have. Um, some days the count, quite admittedly, is rather fast. Sometimes it's a little bit slower, depending upon um, how I'm feeling, what's going on. After you do plantar flexion, then explore dorsiflexion. So you're gonna let the energy come out through the heel and draw the foot back as far as you can and just kind of play with that, just sort of be with that. And you don't have to hold for a long period of time. So maybe, especially when you first start working with your feet, they might be a little resistant. So maybe a count of four or five is enough. Then when you're ready, go into inversion. Okay, so this is bringing the sole of the foot toward the ceiling. So let yourself go as far as you can with that. Again, not pushing the foot into anything it doesn't enjoy, but at the same time, um, Going far enough that you know what you're doing. You're aware that you're actually um, in there and getting a movement that you don't typically get during your day. And then go into eversion. It's the exact opposite. You're gonna let the sole of the foot come toward the floor and just gently hold that for however long you'd like, whatever it is that works for you. Then when you're ready, we're gonna go into the toes specifically. So you might wanna start by just kinda of squeezing them a little bit, saying hello to them, being nice to them. Um, especially if it's a cold winter day, you might wanna warm them up just a little bit before you go into stretching them. And then we're gonna take one toe at a time and you're just going to stretch it um, and hold again for as long a count as you're comfortable. If you're just starting this kind of thing, it may not be very long at all um, and that might might max you out. It might be about where you're comfortable with and that's okay. So you're going to stretch it in one direction and then stretch it in the other direction. And just gentle breathing. Like I said, you could be reading a book, you could be watching television, or you could be very mindful and using this as a meditation as well. Whatever works for you. Do each toe in turn. Let yourself just gently hold let yourself, this is a nice one to do with little kids if you've got little kids in the house. Nice way to kind of play with your feet together. And let yourself stretch in the other direction, each way with each toe. Coming in, nice gentle movement. I will confess the first few times I started working with the feet, um, it wasn't the most comfortable thing I had ever done. Um, but as you work with them and as, you, um, as they become more pliable and more used to moving um, in ways that they're not accustomed to, um, it actually becomes very pleasurable. It's something that your, your body tends to look forward to. 
um, especially at the end of a long day. So be sure to work every toe and of course your big toe. Let yourself go into that as well. And then stretching in the other direction. And then after I do each one of the toes individually, what I will tend to do is all of them together. So let yourself kind of stretch them all um, in one direction and then let them all go in the other direction. And again, you might do some gentle squeezing. Now here's the fun part. What you're gonna do now is do toe spreads. So with a toe spread, you're gonna take each one of your fingers and slide them in between each one of your toes, <laughs> okay? And again, if your toes, if your feet are used to being crammed in shoes, like most of us are all day long, when you first start this, it's gonna feel a little odd. Um, but just let yourself hang out with it as long as you want. You're just gonna hold your own foot. Let each one of those fingers go in between the toes and just hold. Initially, when you start, maybe five or 10 seconds is gonna be plenty. Um, but if you'd like, you can go a little bit longer, um, maybe a count of 30, maybe a count of 40, 50, or 60. And as you choose, just let yourself enjoy as long as it feels good. And whenever you're ready, let yourself come out. And again, just some gentle stretching of those pinkies. Let them enjoy. And some more soft, gentle massage. Now from here, I will typically go into, there's an area in front of the ankle called the retinaculum. It's sort of like if you imagine a rubber band type thing that kind of goes over the ankle and holds all of this, these muscles that are going up and down the leg. It holds them in place. So this area is under a great deal of pressure during the day. So you might want to specifically go into that retinaculum and just gently massage it, just, just gentle squeezing of it, um, or maybe using a loose fist to just kind of dig into it a little bit and open it up. And just gently open that, nice easy stuff, nothing taxing, you don't wanna feel this the next day. And as you choose, go with the heel, and some gentle squeezing of the heel, just squeeze it out. And then you'll take a pincer grip, not a pincher grip, but a pincer grip. So you're using the pads of the thumb and the index finger, and you're going to place them on either side of the Achilles tendon so that what you can do is relax the foot, place your pincer grip on either side close to the heel, and as you slide that pincer grip toward your, your knee, you're going to dorsiflex the foot. So you're sliding up and going along that Achilles tendon, and just several times, just allowing yourself to slide that pincer grip on either side of the Achilles tendon. And it's a lovely opening um, for the ankle and for the foot, especially if you've got things like plantar fasciitis going on. It's a lovely way to work with that as well. And then as you choose, maybe some more nice gentle rolls and enjoy how that foot feels. Now, by this time, your other foot is jealous. Um, your other foot really wants a little bit of attention. So as you choose, let yourself switch feet and we'll work with the other side. So start with just some nice gentle massage, just some easy stuff, just kind of warming things up, saying hello. Um, and you might wanna take some time to say lovely, kind, gentle things to your feet. When's the last time you thought good things about your feet? I mean, really, be nice to them. And then as you choose, go into some gentle rolling of the ankle, nice, easy rolls and rolling in the other direction, whatever um, your foot enjoys, nothing, nothing taxing. Going in the other direction, and then range of motion, plantar flexion. Let yourself just kind of point those toes away from your knee as far as you can. Holding, breathing, watching TV, or being mindful, and let yourself go in the other direction. Dorsiflexion, just nice, easy movements. And as you choose, inversion, bringing the sole of the foot toward the ceiling. Um, just breathing softly into it. And then eversion, going in the opposite direction. And then let yourself address those toes. Begin by squeezing them a little bit, just saying hello to them, warming them up. 
And then you're gonna go one toe at a time. You can start with the big toe and work toward the little one or the other way, whichever feels comfortable for you. You might change it up if you're doing this every day. And you're gonna stretch the toe individually, each one, um, in both directions, holding as long as you're comfortable, whatever it is that feels good for you, going in the other direction. And let yourself do each toe in turn. Just some easy stretching. Nice, gentle, loving touch for those feet that work so hard for you every day. Each toe in turn, appreciating the attention, the gentle stretch. And again, when you first start this kind of a practice, there might be a little pushback. There might be a little resistance. Um, just let yourself be compassionate um, and non-judgmental of your feet and where they are. And just kind of work with them. Meet them where they are. Awesome. And you might do all, all of the toes at the same time, stretching in both directions. And then that wonderful, delicious toe spread. Um, so let yourself put the fingers in between each of the toes. And the closer you have those fingers to the webbing of the toe, to the foot itself, the, the more of a spread you're gonna get. So if, if you want, you can start out toward the edge of the toe, so you're not asking them to go quite so far apart, especially when you first start working with it. And then just let yourself breathe for a moment or two. Hold your foot, um, say nice things, say loving things to your feet. Thank them for um, carrying you quite literally, through every step of your life. Just some easy stuff. And the more you do this, the more you're going to love doing it. Um, so stay with it for only as long as it feels comfortable for you, not rushing your journey and at the same time um, not overstaying your welcome. And then as you choose, some nice squeezing, maybe some gentle stretching of those toes again. And then go into that lovely little retinaculum area. Let yourself just kind of warm that up and it feels really delicious. Um, believe it or not, if you've got chronic low back pain, this is an area of your body that you don't think of as being related to that lower back stuff. Um, but I promise you, this area of your body will be very tight if you have chronic low back pain. So give yourself a moment to really warm that tissue and let it open up. And then squeeze the heel. Open up the heel, and when you're ready, go into your pincer grip on that Achilles tendon. So the, using the pads of the fingers, you're going to place them one on either side of that Achilles tendon, relax the foot, and as you slide that pincer grip toward your knee, you're going to dorsiflex the foot. So you've got um, a double action going there. Um, you're opening it as you're massaging it and stretching in that direction. Let yourself kind of hang out with it. Go as often as you want with that one because that one feels really yummy. And then let yourself go back into your gentle rolls with the ankle, maybe some nice gentle massage, and enjoy how absolutely delicious your feet feel. <laughs> 